Hey, what's good everybody? It's me, Tim Keys, and I'm back with another video. This time I want to show you how you can take polyphonic audio and convert it into MIDI. And you do that with a program known as SampLab. SampLab is a new plugin that has been released, I would say, in the past few weeks. So it's fairly new, but it is also very free. That's right, it is very free. And you could use it in any DAW that offers VST3 support. However, if you do not have a DAW that runs VST3 plugins, then I'm going to show you how to do a workaround. If you've seen my last video on that subject of how to run VST3 plugins in the MPC, then you are familiar with Cushview Element. And there are quite a few other videos out there showing the power of Cushview Element. So you would need to download that program and set it up to run your plugins. Once you do that, <clears throat> you're going to go into your search engine and you're going to look for Samp Lab. And I just type it in the search engine to make my life easy. And of course, it's right there. I'm going to drag it out. Now, all you have to do is take your desired audio and drag it in. Now, just to give you a heads up, in the reason I am not able to take my audio from the search bar here and just drag it into this plugin. I don't know why that is. It's kind of irritating, but there's a simple workaround. And in my case, I'm just going to pull up my actual files and search bar, take my audio and drag it in. Just as a heads up, you can only use 10 seconds of audio in this program. <clears throat> Pardon me. Kind of a bummer, but that's okay because you can pick the section of the audio that you like. Once I do that, I'm going to hit continue. And I'm just going to wait for the audio to process. Now, if I had this connected appropriately, then if I hit the play button, But you don't have to do that. That's just to help you hear the original audio as is. What I'm going to do is take the MIDI and just simply drag it. I'm going to exit out of that. And as you can see, it's taken the MIDI information and put it right into the sequencer. And we're going to press play just so we can hear it. And one thing about MIDI, you can edit it and modify it as you see fit. Now, just as a heads up, the conversion won't be perfect, and that's okay. In some cases, that's done, I believe that's done intentionally, just as a buffer for, you know, protection for copyright infringement. But with any of those imperfections or articles or artifacts that you may end up having, during the conversion process, you can just take that MIDI and remove it or play over it or add something else to it. You can change it as you like.
and you can, you know, begin to layer and modify and do with it as you please. That sounds kind of funny. So we're gonna take that. Come on. There we go. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a fairly straightforward process. And if you're looking for that feature, this is the easiest way to go about having it. So yeah, now you can take audio and convert it into MIDI or your remixes or your notations or you know anything that you want to do. I don't advise, you know, stealing. So I would highly suggest you modify your notes, play over them, change them, time stretch, do different things, get creative, but it is a feature. It is available. And now any plugin or not any plugin, any doll now has this feature due to Samp Lab. So thank you to the creators of Samp Lab. You're very much appreciated. It's Tim Keys and I'm out. Have a good one. Peace.